fans because this Sunday's Cup Series race in Las Vegas had all the thrilling action you hoped for. With Hendrick Motorsports dominating the track, it was a race that had everyone on the edge of their seats. Kyle Larson was almost able to clinch the victory, but a dramatic late caution led to teammate William Byron seizing the opportunity and crossing the finish line in first place during overtime. You don't want to miss a second of the heart-pumping excitement that went down at the Pennzoil 400, so make sure to watch the whole video as we analyze this race. But hold up, before we dive in this video, please leave a like and subscribe with the notification bell on so you don't miss any future NASCAR updates and stories. Now buckle up and let's head into today's story. The engines roared to life as the Pennzoil 400 officially began. Taking charge at the front of the pack was Joy Logano and William Byron, ready to race their hearts out and make their mark on the track. With 10 laps already completed, William Byron was already leading the pack, determined to secure the number 24 car's first sub-25 finish of the year. The competition was fierce, but Byron was focused and ready to give it his all in pursuit of the checkered flag. As stage one approached the final stretch, with only 27 laps left, Byron had impressively maintained his lead for a whopping 40 laps, a personal best at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. The number 24 car was running like a well-oiled machine, smoothly cruising towards a potential victory. As the race approached the 30-lap mark, cars began making their way to pit road. William Byron and Kyle Larson the two front runners were strategically waiting to see how the race unfolded in terms of caution flags before making their own pit stops. It was a calculated move that could potentially make all the difference in the race's outcome. This part of the race was a frustrating moment for hometown hero Noah Gragson as he struggled to enter pit road, receiving back-to-back -back entry penalties for coming in too quickly. The young driver was undoubtedly disappointed by the setback as it threatened to hamper his chances of a successful race. In the meantime, Joey Logano was seen slipping down the field, losing ground and dropping all the way down to 14th place. It was a disappointing turn of events for the driver who had likely hoped for a stronger showing at this point in the race. And there it was. Byron had won stage one of the race. Kyle Larson and Ross Chastain followed closely behind, rounding out the top three positions. It was an impressive showing from these drivers, and the competition was only expected to heat up as the race continued. The green flag signaled the start of Stage 2, and William Byron maintained his lead at the front of the pack. However, it was Denny Hamlin who was making the most significant push-up the leaderboard, currently sitting in third place and attempting to overtake Ross Chastain in a two-wide maneuver. Hamlin's efforts were momentarily thwarted by Kyle Larson who blocked his attempt to swap for second place. The competition was heating up and every driver was fighting tooth and nail to gain an edge. As stage two progressed and 30 laps were completed, the 25-year-old William Byron had maintained a lead of 2.50 seconds over Kyle Larson, who is currently in second place. The number 24 car was running strong and showed no signs of slowing down, while the competition continued to push harder in their pursuit of victory. About 10 minutes from this, there was a big contact on the track, with Gibbs, Barry, and Chris Busher all sustaining damage from the wall. Each driver's car had suffered varying degrees of harm, with Barry even falling a lap behind. Gibbs' front right wheel was noticeably wobbly, adding to the team's concerns. It was a hectic and unpredictable moment in the race and every driver would need to stay focused to navigate the challenging conditions. As the race progressed into stage two, it became apparent that tight wheels were causing some problems for some drivers. Both Blaney and Wallace reported difficulties with their wheels as they navigated the turns. It was a concerning issue that could potentially impact the driver's ability to remain competitive in the race, making it crucial for them to address the problem as soon as possible. Shortly after this, though, the track leaders made their way towards pit road, Every second counted, and every driver would need to execute their strategy flawlessly if they hoped to emerge from the pits in a strong position. Joey Logano 
had been having a rough time in the race so far, and things took a turn for the worse as he absorbed significant impact from the wall. It appeared that Logano had gotten loose while navigating the turn at the top of the track, causing him to collide with the barrier. It was a tough break for the driver, who had been struggling to stay competitive in the race. Meanwhile, Byron was on a roll, sweeping both stages and claiming another green flag. However, as the race had already shown, anything could happen, and there were sure to be plenty more surprises in store before the checkered flag fell. With 79 laps remaining, the middle of the pack was a chaotic scene, with three cars jockeying for position and ultimately resulting in significant damage for Joey Logano. He had found himself caught up in a group with Bush and Keselowski, all of whom were vying for a spot in turn four. Unfortunately for Logano, things didn't go his way, and he ended up sustaining damage to his tow link. It was a tough break for the driver, who was surely disappointed to see his hopes for a strong finish evaporate in an instant. Denny Hamlin took the lead, but there was some tense racing between him and Kyle Larson, with the number five Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 pushing hard on Hamlin's bumper and nearly causing him to lose control. Ultimately, though, it was Larson who emerged victorious, taking over the lead and positioning himself as the driver to beat as the race entered its later stages. Kyle Larson held a five-second edge over William Byron. Just 18 laps to go, and the difference between first and seventh is 9.4 seconds. So things were still fairly competitive. As the race approached its conclusion, disaster struck for Almirola, who made contact with the wall and triggered a yellow flag with just four laps remaining. It was a tough break for the driver, but even a tougher break for Kyle Larson, who made his way to pit road along with Denny Hamlin, William Byron, and William Bowman for what could be a make-or-break stop. In a tight race like this, every second counts, and it was William Byron who just managed to edge out Larson at the finish line, meaning he would be in front of his rival when the race resumed. Despite a strong showing, Kyle Larson didn't hold out at the end of the race. The driver of car number five had a comfortable lead with only four laps to go, but Eric Almirola's collision with the wall trigger overtime, leaving the race out from up in the air. Meanwhile, Byron would end up taking home the victory. What do you think about the outcome of the race? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Leave us a like. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. But Austin Centric for a six. That's pretty good. Sponsored by Credit One Bank and make a mark on where you start to come finish all the way back through the trioval.